Does body language and the evidence prove that Amber Heard is the worst actor in the world trying to lie about Johnny Depp? Find out next. Welcome back to the channel, Shakers. Derek Van Shake here. Well, he doesn't need a machine. He's a human lie detector. Amber Heard is the now 34-year-old actress who played in The Rum Diary, The Ward, and who could ever forget her smash hit? I do, until I don't. And as you all know, the now 57-year-old Johnny Depp is a pirate. <laughs> Amber and Johnny got married on February 3rd, 2015. Amber filed for a divorce on May 23rd, 2016. And the divorce was finalized on January 13th, 2017. So in less than two years, they were married, entanglement, filed for divorce, and then got divorced. However, both Johnny and Amber claimed spousal abuse during the divorce hearings. And Depp is now suing gossip magazines for libel, slander, and defamation for perpetuating the story, which greatly negatively impacted his acting career. You have given me so much strength. And I send it back to you. The love didn't flow Thank back. You. Booze following her into court. So we're going to break down Amber Heard's up body language during her intense deposition along with the recorded evidence to finally reveal whether these accusations against Johnny Depp are true or false. Now, let's get started. Anytime prior to... Right here, watch her body language and verbals. See what you think. May 22nd, 2016. Did you ever commit an act of domestic violence against Johnny Depp? Calls for a legal conclusion and irrelevant, but go ahead. Do you understand what I'm asking you? No. No? Yes, I understand what you're asking me. Okay. Did you catch it? Let's rewind it and break it down. May 22nd, 2016. Did you ever commit an act of domestic violence against Johnny Depp? First, Depp's lawyer is asking that question. Did you notice Amber was whipping her head and her eyes all around the room? Liars will sometimes do that to feel like they're escaping in a fight or flight reaction. Since it's a stressful situation and question where they know they're going to be lying. Remember, lying is extremely stressful, partly because they know it's wrong, there are consequences, and it's dangerous because they could be caught in the lie. People don't normally lie about random things in their life. Instead, they'll lie about very big, specific things, which causes them to act stressed in that instance. Calls for a legal conclusion and irrelevant. Go ahead. Now, Amber's lawyer surely knows her full truth, even if she's lying and is very guilty. It's her lawyer's job as what's called a fiduciary to get her the best possible outcome. So it's a red flag when we oddly hear him object to things to apparently interrupt the flow of Johnny Depp's lawyer's questioning. Do you understand what I'm asking you? No. When Depp's lawyer asks Amber if she understands, Amber finds that slick moment to throw in her no lie within Depp's lawyer's clarifying follow-up in an attempt to mask her lie. However, when she said no, did you notice her blink rate increase along with an incongruent head nod? Do you understand what I'm asking you? No. Liars will sometimes blink more in subconscious nervousness that they feel from lying. We also notice her hands are likely together underneath the table, possibly being massaged in self-comfort. She says her no quietly. No which is sometimes very typical of a liar. Also pursing her lips after she just said it, indicating holding back the truth. Actors are sometimes called professional liars. So how is this Hollywood actress this bad at lying? No? Yes, I understand what you're asking okay. me. Then she oddly sticks her tongue out to the side of her mouth in soothing self-comfort from surely the stress and insecurity of lying. It shows her insecurity of having just told a massive lie that will surely be challenged. Because listen to this recording that Amber recorded and see what you think. All the trust is gone. All the trust is gone in the relationship because you keep splitting. I'm not going to be in a physical altercation don't. with you. Then don't. You hit me last night. What about all the other times you split? It, come on, you cannot act like that. It's about that. Yes, Amber recorded herself admitting that she assaults Johnny Depp and he leaves the room to avoid being physically assaulted by her. Now listen to this next part and see what you think. I'm not going to get into the details of that fight. You and I both know that you split when there is no physical violence involved. 
Really, when you split on me, how do you feel when I leave you? When I split, I when I go into the other room, you say. Yeah, it sure sounds like that she's the physical aggressor, he's more mellow and non-confrontational. So he just always leaves the room, in part so he doesn't get beat up by Amber. If Depp were to have actually assaulted Amber, she would have mentioned something of that in her recordings. Amber Heard and Elon Musk's romance is heating up. And prior to May 21, 2016, or May 22, 2016, is it your testimony that you never committed any act of what would be considered domestic violence against Mr. Depp? Are you seeing this? Nervous fidgeting with her mouth, looking around, indicating that she wants to escape. Remember, body language is all situational, based on clusters, to zero in on how the subject is actually feeling. Calls for legal conclusion and irrelevant to these proceedings. Again, Amber's lawyer gives what surely seems to be a bogus objection to interrupt Depp's lawyer's flow. Now see what you think of her body language when she responds, and then we'll break it down. I did my, I, uh, no, I did my best to defend myself and not, not, um, not, not get seriously hurt or be a doormat to whom this happens to all the time. Massive sudden nervous fidgeting, looking down and away, self-comforting touches, some pursed lips, low insecure tone of voice, not, um, not, not, and massive attempts to divert and distract from her very weak denial. Defend myself not, get seriously hurt or be a doormat. You got the tapes, let me hear them. Send me the f***ing recordings. Just, just text them to me. If I move out, then you f I'll have them, you'll have them and you can f***ing relish them. You won't f***ing like it, what you hear. Won't make you happy. But every time you don't like what I say and you f***ing run away, will never work out anything. You can't run away every fight. Isn't it true, Miss Heard, that you previously confessed and apologized to Johnny Depp for committing domestic violence against him. He hit me um, for a very long time before I ever um, I'm gonna picked up my arms. So Amber Heard claims that she only did it in self-defense, but that's not at all what seems to have happened. Listen to this. You run away every single fight. I'm not the one who f throws pots and Those are diff that's the different. fucking else at me. That's different. That's one does not... <laughs> Negate the other. That's irrelevant. It's a complete non sequitur. Just because I've thrown pots and pans does not mean that you vases come and knock on the door. Just because there are vases does not mean that you come and knock on the door. Really? I should just let you throw... I'm not saying that. You're saying that. You're putting words in my mouth and then making no, non sequiturs. I'm giving you a situation. No, you're trying to justify how you don't or do come to the door no, based I'm on whether justifying. I throw pots and pans. It's irrelevant. No, I'm justifying how you... you, you, you seem to think that there's this cowardice in me that runs away and I don't fight for you. Why are you trying to justify who throws things based because on whether that, or not you come knocking on the door? I don't because get that is a irrational and violent maneuver. Responsive and move to strike. Amber Heard was having an affair with Cara Delavigne while she was still married to Johnny Depp. Yes. Whenever he was injured or touched at all, we re referred to it in these ways of punching or clocked or whatever. You're a f***ing baby. Because you start you physical are fights? You're a baby! Because you, the f up, because you start physical fights? I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did, so I had because, to get the f*** out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are admirable. Every single time. What, 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 what's your excuse? When there's not a physical fight, then what's the excuse there? You're still being admirable, right? Just by running away. Isn't it true, Ms. Heard, that in September of 2015, you punched Johnny Depp in the face with a closed fist? Did you notice just as Depp's attorney finished asking Amber her question, Amber rushes to chuck a big piece of chocolate into her mouth? Johnny Depp in the face with a closed fist. Yes, it was obviously done to buy herself extra time. And chocolate may have been her and her attorney's way of diverting and distracting so they can work their way out of the more detrimental questions to Amber's case. Because, watch this. Mm. Every 
fight. There's a new thing that you've convinced yourself no, is a lie. I said to you, you Amber, tell Travis what you just did. Did you just <laughs> fucking, did you punch me in the fucking jaw? Did you fucking kick? Did you? Uh -huh. Did you? And you wouldn't say fucking. We said I don't know what oh, you're so talking I about. Lied. Never fucking. I see never lie. fucking happened I after you fucking got physically violent with me. I texted Travis. I said, "Come up here," because I, I didn't want anything to happen. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. Come, it's coming to what? Save me? No, go ahead. Continue. You called me a liar and yet you... Yet... I watched you lie. You called me a liar? I watched you lie. I You're heard it. I hit... I hit Johnny one time when he... Very Sorry, oh, wait. No, you answer the question. Please stop whispering because it's, it's distracting over here. It's your team. team. No, no I was no, these to this, two. actually. I can't hear them. I hear I them. Yes, she starts to admit something and her attorney realizes an opening to get her out of the question by blaming it on whispering. See, this is the type of creative attorney shenanigans Hollywood elite pay big money for. Yes or no, did you ever no. punch Johnny Depp with a closed fist in the history of your relationship with Johnny? Answer it however you feel you wish to. I said to you, hey, tell Travis what just happened. You oh, you careless. told me to do it. You yeah. told me to. You said, go do that. I said, no, t tell him what just happened. And I lied. And that you punched me in the fucking thing and you, you in the face. Up. And you said, no, I, no, I didn't. What the f are you talking about? Miss Heard, I must interrupt you, you because can't. I've you can't. asked you a yes then or no question. Then withdraw your withdraw your question then because Ms. she's Heard, answering. Prior to today's date, um, had had any time has Johnny have you ever hit Johnny Depp? You You've already asked and she's already answered and you interrupted her. Attorneys you see advertised on billboards usually aren't this creative. I would have done anything to prevent her from being pushed on a flight of stairs. I'm really excited to be, um, I'm really excited to be 30. Now this just gets really sad. Watch Amber try to tell her detailed story of how she claims she was abused by Johnny Depp. See what you think, watch closely because we're gonna break it down as we go. Through his arm back and he threw the phone. As you'll notice when she's talking about this incident, she always seems to be searching for the story as she's telling the story and not speaking from memory with the emotion that we would expect of someone who actually experienced this firsthand. Also, notice the confused expression on her face. Eyebrows close together, squinty eyes, small mouth. But we would expect to see the shock, horror, and fear on her face of reliving that day. But instead we see confusion on her face, like she's making up a story? That seems to be because she's just a really bad actor. You're not gonna believe how cringe this gets. Let's keep watching. What? Okay. Appeared to be very as hard as he could at my face. More searching for her words, and we're also not hearing the emotion we would expect from her given what she claims happened. But we'll also notice that her emotion goes in and out, and there's also a massive gap in her story. Very typical of someone who fabricates a story. I'm gonna rewind it for a second and watch for the odd gap in her story. As hard as he could at my face, put my head down. Yes. She didn't mention the most important part of the whole story. The part where the phone supposedly hit her in the face. If this would have actually happened, she would have of course remembered to say that part in the sequence because of the pain and emotion she would have experienced. Liars, specifically story fabricators, will miss these crucial details because they're not reliving the actual event. Instead, they're trying to think of what someone who experienced something like this would say and act. Also, fabricators avoid talking about the details, especially those that they know a lot of emotional acting is required to come across as truthful, such as the moment where she supposedly felt the phone hit her face. I said, you hit me. I was crying. I said, Johnny hit me because then I start hearing things being smashed. She's constantly switching between tenses, but as we continue through, notice that she eventually settles on present tense. And I said to him, honey, you hit, you hit me, you hit me in the eye, my eye, my eye. And I start crying and 
I, uh, he approaches me and I don't know um, if he, if I am here feeling him approach, uh, anticipate to try to get up or if I help him help me up or if he just did it all by grabbing my hair but for some reason uh, I mean, I had some aid in getting up off the couch. When a liar fabricates an entire story, it's extremely stressful on them. It's not like telling a simple lie of, I didn't do it, or that's not me. Moreover, when a person is lying under oath in legal testimony with a whole bunch of attorneys watching them and it's being filmed, imagine the nervousness and stress you felt when you fabricated that story to your mom and dad times a thousand. Um by him grabbing my um, head, uh, mostly on my right side, like a, the impact of which was significant in and of itself. Do you notice how she's talking about this very robotically and technically? Always searching for just the right words instead of just communicating what happened. Those long pauses allow the negative thoughts that she's not being believed to creep into her mind. And. I, uh, he... Which caused her to overcompensate. The impact of which was significant in and of itself. She seems to be talking with that hypersensitive, over-technical criticism of her story to overcompensate for her fear of being found out. He grabs my... Now she continues to tell her story with little to no emotion, which is very incongruent. And she seems to realize at this point that she should probably include a little bit more emotion given what she's claiming happened. So now watch this. He grabs my... Um... Yes, she restates it. So apparently she can include the emotion that she felt she left out of it the first time she said it. Uh, See what happened? She got caught up thinking too much of the right emotion to use that she forgot what she was supposed to say, causing her to fall out of character for a second. Uh, grabs my head. Come on, Amber, you're a Hollywood actress. Let's see that Oscar winning performance. Um, takes a fistful of my hair and says, I hit your eye, I hit your eye, hold on, let me see your eye. Let me see, let me see your eye. What if I pull your hair back? And he yanks my head back and he's... I don't know, smacking my face or moving my face or... And he's got me by the hair and... Um... It's hard to describe, it's... So much for that, Oscar. Her emotion is clearly fake, coming and going quickly. There's no tears, no signs of authentic sadness, just really bad acting. <laughs> she's giving long pauses to think about what she's gonna say and how to come across as most believable. I'm side to hide the side with my, with my hair. Are you standing up at this time? Yeah. Okay. And has he uh, pulled out any hair from your head? I, I, he's still holding on to my head. Okay. At this time, and he said, um, I don't know if he's trying to grab my face or if he's hitting my face or oh, I don't know what's happening, but he's yelling at me, he's screaming. Telling a story that happened in the past, do you think that would be told in past tense or present tense? Right, it would be told in past tense. It happened in the past. So we would expect her to say things like, he was yelling, he was screaming, and not, he is yelling, he is screaming like she keeps doing. He's yelling at me, he's screaming. This seems to indicate that she's thinking now of what she's making up in her mind and forgetting to translate her fabricated story into past tense. And, I, and I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. Security is somewhere and even though they never respond when I'm screaming help ever. According to Amber, security never happens to respond to a woman's screams. Can you guess why she makes sure she says that? Right, it's to give reason and to cover herself for why their security is testifying that they never heard Amber ever scream. I need you to come over because I thought another third party might be, um, a third party being present helps always to, um, 
Is it your testimony? Calm things. Clearly, Amber is coming across as not believable, even to the people in the room. Because uh, watch what happens next. Is it your testimony, Ms. Heard? Yes, Amber's attorney surely knows that this isn't looking very good for his client. So he asks for a break. No. Depp's attorney immediately says no. She seems to know this is not looking good for Amber and wants her to continue telling this fish tale. How big was that fish again, Amber? She's upset. She's upset. She's Clear not. that she, yes, yeah, she's crying and she's upset, Blair. How could you possibly force her to answer because questions I see when she's the crying and upset? Not upset and hasn't requested. Do you I'm requesting on her behalf. Her? Now watch for Amber's terrible acting job of suddenly trying to come across as distraught, hurt, and upset. Yes. Yes. Let the record reflect Mr. Harder's answering for Ms. Hurd, yes, and Ms. Hurd has responded. Yeah, she suddenly starts to lower her head and eyes, starts pouting her lips a little like a little girl, and giving that fake sad look of, yes, I need a break because this is very difficult to talk about. Yes, we'll take a break and go off record. Amber seemed clearly deceptive with fabrication, but... Why? Probably so that in their divorce, she can counter Johnny Depp's legitimate claims that Amber physically abused him, while also trying not to be perceived by the public as an abuser, which would surely hurt her career. Give this video a thumbs up if you think Amber Heard was lying. Give this video a thumbs down if you think Amber Heard was 100% truthful. Now in the comments, what would you do if you were Johnny Depp and someone fabricated terrible lies about you? Would you sue them? Would you try to take them down? Let everyone know. In the comments below. Remember to hit that subscribe button now. You're a baby. So you don't miss out on new body language investigative videos where we always seem to shake up YouTube. And I'll see you at the top.